Yes, that's me. I haven't done my daily YouTube videos, so I figured I'll just do one here in my house, just a, a living room in my LA place. There's the old Atari 2600 framed with a bunch of games. Underneath it, we have Plastic Man with a 70s TV and Russian Superman. And right below, who's that? That's Godzilla! Godzilla! There's Godzilla. Followed by a custom painting of our roadside killer movies. Pretty fantastic. Followed by XBW, first show at the Viking Hall, ECW Arena, August 31st, 2002. My brother designed this poster. It's only one of a kind. He printed it out. We had a bunch of wrestlers sign it. Got to meet Shane Douglas. A bunch of other ECW guys. Um, so, what's going on here? Why is there so much light? Is my camera light on? Oh, no. Anyways, there it is. Bunch of wrestlers now. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Before you see this, do you want to see the sticker bathroom? Here we go. Sticker bathroom. Glow in the dark. Stars. With bugs. Dum dum boom. Dum 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 This is where all the magic happens. And all the creative process. And all the texting. Check this out. Beavis and Rodhead, dry race board from way back in the day. So we got stickers everywhere. So if you have stickers you want to send me, I'll throw them up on the wall. Now, let me show you a little bit more of my house. Here's some posters. Barbarella, fantastic. Attack of the 50 foot woman. Um, who doesn't love a 50 foot woman? And Mars attacks, of course. We'll get back to this Mars attack in a minute. But check this out. Custom, one of a kind, made lamp just for me by Eleanor. One of the coolest people I know. She lives in Canada. She's very smart, she's very cute. She's very cool. She got style. And obviously she's got some artistic skills. She bought a bunch of stuff that she knows I'm into, like dinosaurs, wrestling, Bigfoots. Actually, that could be maybe the Loch Ness Monster, I don't know. I'm sure there's an alien in there somewhere. Yeah, so how cool is that? Oh, these guys? These are actual toys from Russia when I was a little kid. Seven, eight years old, I used to play with these guys. Check this out. They're made out of freaking metal. In Russia, we don't fuck around. We play with metal toys. Die cut metal toys. Now, let's check out the rest of the. Some of my Super 8 camera collection. More. And more. And some of my old film I never used. Followed by my Dolomite collection. Two record set signed by Rudy Ray Moore. For moi, John Mafonica signed this penitentiary duty for me because he's one of the great filmmaking, um, how can we put this, um, success stories. He's pretty amazing. There's my Toxie and Friends collection with picture of Toxie and myself from years ago and then the amazing Lloyd Kaufman and myself and then right below it. Orson Welles wore the world's record. Yes, the actual record. Fake radio of war stirs terror. And then also have War the World's Super 8 film. With some not so friendly aliens. This is a light switch, watch this. <laughs> Pretty freaking cool, right? I guess. Alright. This I'll show another day, except for these aliens. In Russia, when you turn 13, you get your own set of aliens. And here's my big yellow wall of posters. Brand new poster. 
Kiss meets the Phantom of the Park Japanese poster. Right there. I just threw him up there. Which meant this guy came down. No more this guy. Also, check this out. I got my little Mars Attacks collection. Ray gun. Actual ray gun. It works. So if anybody tries to break in the house. Beep, beep, beep. Gone, son. You gone. And for the finale. There's my filmmaking award. Um, what should we call it? What do you call it? What is that thing? That wooden thing. That thing. Anyways, so let me tell you a little cool story right here. Signed right there by, by John Landis. It's a postcard. It says, White Skin Zombies, what could be better? It's for our horror movie we did in 1999. Then I saw him again in 2007. He remembered the movie and actually signed. Look, Slava again. That's my real name. Signed, John Landis. He sent me this card originally in 1999, 2000. Seven years later, I saw him again. He signed it. How freaking awesome is that? And to finish off this finale, there's my President's Award from Brooks Institute of Photography. Number 51 in 50 years. Ooh. And let's end it off with the great Voltron himself.